Hey guys, Dr. Ko here, and welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm going to be doing a remake to What If Naruto Was Raised by Danzo, part 2. Now, if you guys have watched the part 2 before and you had the shit audio or you got part of the story, I'm actually going to redo that story in a complete manner. It actually made me shitty upon how I did it and knowing that the dumb audio pissed me off too. So I apologise to you guys so much for that. Um, I'll do better next time, okay? I promise you guys that, okay? Um, without further ado guys, if you guys want to know what happened previously, please watch the part 1 again. And then this part 2 is actually going to be a completely new type of version to what if Naruto was raised by Gonzo, okay guys? So yeah. So as usual, please, if you guys can, like and subscribe and leave comments down below to let me know what you guys will change or think, you know, that, or, or what your opinions on the situation, okay? But yeah, I, I think I took enough bull crap. Let's get to this, re this new remake of what if Naruto was raised by Danzo, part 2. Now let's begin. Now the story is going to take place straight after Kakashi um, talked to the Team 7 on top of the... Um, the roof of the academy, and not only that, now it's in canon Naruto and them all uh, on at the training grounds the next day. They haven't eaten, and Kakashi's really late. So, what happens is as they're there, the newly team Kakashi, Naruto, Hinata, and Sasuke um, stand there and ponder um, from where Kakashi is. Naruto um, understands that he uh, he's pretty much placed in his team, and, and, and that for him to um, complete his goals or all his endeavors in his life. He needs to make sure that he keeps his team alive and that the team is strong. That's how Naruto looks at them and assesses their weakness and their strength. And he finds that Hinata is really timid and Sasuke is over, overconfident with his power. And Naruto also surmises that he's unsure if Sasuke actually has the ability to activate the Sharingan. And so he goes back to his, he thinks about his teachings he had with Danzo when he was younger, learning about the Sharingan and the Byakugan and their strengths and weaknesses. And everything I learned how to take them on all the time. So if Naruto was to fight any of the two, he would be able to surpass, um, surpass all of them, even the three Thomas Sharingan. The Stanzo um, I'm trained with Naruto hardcore all his life. So Naruto understands with the Sharingan to activate, he needs to put um, Sasuke into a form of distress or massive emotional upheaval. So he thinks about thinks about any rumors that Danzo um, pretty much told Naruto that Itachi wiped up the clan. And not only that, he, he actually knows the real reason why, because Danzo trusts Naruto with the information. Naruto is like his grandson. He knew that pretty much is his grandson. So what happens is, Naruto and um, Naruto walks over to Sasuke and, and with, with his irritating smile, just like he does with something like side does. He looks over a smile at Sasuke and goes, Hey Sasuke! Sasuke looks at Naruto with a mean, mean, um, him, aggro look and goes, So, are you able to activate the Sharingan yet? Sasuke looks at Naruto with a confused face, he goes, what do you what? And he goes, well, you're in the Shia, right? You have the Sharingan. Correct? Have you unlocked it yet? And Sasuke, like, kind of turned, looks away from Naruto and goes, what do you even care? And Naruto goes, just wondering, because you've kind of activated the Sharingan, how the hell are you going to protect that team from Sasuke? Sasuke looks at Naruto with such anger and he goes, hmm, I don't think you'll be able to get your vengeance for how weak you are. And Naruto looks away and Sasuke puts his hand up and goes, what are you trying to say, Naruto? Naruto goes, If the person you're trying to kill is Itachi, good luck. I heard he was one of the ranked highest in the Honbu besides Kakashi Sensei. Sasuke is, is shocked, Walk takes a step back and goes, How do I, how, how do you know that name, Itachi? Like, how do you know his brother and how do you know the situation? Naruto goes, Pretty much says, Well, we're all on the same team, right? And I can't see, see that no one's around, so I'm pretty much going to state your brother wiped out your clan, right, Sasuke? Sasuke instantly blah, 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 pushed back to the part um, he has a big flashback of what happened when Itachi did that to him and it shocks him and he goes I heard, you, I heard your brother beat you down like a dog and Sasuke has like, so much anger, so much resolve, like hatred and then Naruto asks again So Sasuke, have you, um, do you have the Sharingan yet? And if so, are the, do you have the one Thomas Sharingan, two Thomas Sharingan or three Thomas Sharingan? I need to know Sasuke is still trembling at the fact that he remember Itachi doing that to his clan and so much anger and emotion starts to overwhelm Sasuke to the point where Naruto goes, huh? Well, as I stated before, if you can't activate the Sharingan, we're as good as dead as a team anyway. And Naruto walks away and Sasuke runs up to Naruto and grabs him, pulls him closer to him. As he did so, did so, his eyes were kind of slightly burning, so he had like a kind of blind blue moment, but he managed to get to Naruto and pull his clothes closer. And as, as um, Sasuke um, was about to shout at Naruto, and Naruto looks at um, Sasuke with the, with the irritating smile that Sasuke gives and tells him, Get your hands off the Sasuke and you can use their hands to hurt him. With a big smile, and Sasuke is like, Oh, shocked, and Naruto goes, Ah, see, there you go. So you do have the Sharingan, I see. 
And not only that, it's one time. That's great. Naruto goes, thank you for that, Sasuke. Sasuke, oh, what do you mean? <coughs> what do you mean? He goes, well, you just proved that point that you actually have the Sharon gun and you actually have one time. And that means you're very strong and you're capable of Shinobi. Very great for our future. Alright, Naruto walks away and goes, walks to Hinata, ignoring Sasuke and his emotion. And he goes, so Hinata, can you activate the Byakuga? And Hinata doesn't want to be put in that position where he, she gets into an emotional upheaval from Naruto. So she weaves her hand side and he weaves hand signs and activates the Byakugan. And Naruto goes, very good, very good. Now we have the capable team. Sasuke is looking at Naruto and he goes, what are you trying to do, Naruto? And he goes, I want to survive, Sasuke. I don't want to have to babysit you little kids. And Sasuke goes, what the hell does that mean? We are, we are all the same age. He goes, yes, we are all the same age, but we grew up differently. You grew up in the shadow of your brother. I grew up with the shadow of the hidden leaf. Sasuke is like shocked by this, and so is Hinata. And he goes, Naruto looks over to him and goes, I trained my entire life, Sasuke, my entire life. I know Jujutsu that you can't even perfect at this, at this level. Do you understand, Sasuke? Now, as I stated before, I don't want to babysit you. At the same time, um, my gramps told me that being in a team could make me stronger, made me learn the value of the village properly instead of looking at the village from a different perspective. Now Sasuke is looking at Naruto like, huh? And he goes, so what we're going to do Naruto, Sasuke, I mean, what we're going to do Sasuke is I'm going to help you all the time to activate your Sharon Gun and be able to maintain your Sharon Gun and then progress it further to two and three. Even if that means I have to help you get to the position where you fight your brother Itachi. Sasuke looks at Naruto and goes, he gives that smile and goes, that's what teammates are for, right Sasuke? Sasuke kind of looks away and goes, Back in Naruto and goes, I, will, you, I, I, will you actually help me, Sasuke? And Naruto, and Naruto goes, Yes, I will. Now we need a formula to plan. Now, if I think what is going to happen in this, in this training with Kakashi Sensei, it's going to go the way I think it is. We need a formula, a strategy to take him. So, uh, Sasuke goes, What do you mean? And goes, Judging by what where we are in, in the past of Kakashi Sensei himself, I know a lot about. By the way, um, I think we're going to be doing the bell test. Uh, as Naruto is explaining the bell test to cut out uh, of um, Sasuke and Hinata, Kakashi's walking over and he overhears the conversation. He jumps in a tree and is listening to the conversation. He, he's hearing that Naruto is explaining the bell test, and not only that, Naruto is working with Sasuke and Hinata to form another plan to get, um, to get um, Kakashi. And this, this buzzes out Kakashi because when he, when, when he saw them the day before, they couldn't be more, they couldn't be less than a team as they were. And he's looking right at Naruto and he goes, Ah, so Naruto is the team leader. Wonder what they've done to him. Did to him. Okay. And then what happens is that Kakashi's like, I can actually have a really good team. Actually, I can actually have a really good team on my hands. So as as Kakashi sits there, just to listen for a little bit, Naruto explains that Kakashi um Kakashi is really good at long range and close range due to not only that, underneath his left eye he has the showering gun. Sasuke is shocked in his butt and he goes, um, I can't explain to you right now, Sasuke, without Kakashi Sensei debriefing us upon it, okay? But I do know the situations that led to him having that fight. But furthermore, Sasuke, we needed to get past that notion. Kakashi Sensei is very good at, at deflecting um, Taijutsu, he's really good at ninjutsu, really good at genjutsu, and not only that, Sasuke, he, he's a ninja that can copy jutsu really well. He is, he is known for Kakashi of the Sharingan or, or the copycat ninja. And this, this shocks Sasuke. And he's like, oh. and Naruto goes, and that's why I ask you about your Sharon Gun Sasuke, because we're going to need it. As much as, as great as I am, I, I, I fought joining level from Shinobi a lot in my life, okay, and I understand how powerful, how fast, how much strength, how much, how much power is needed to be thrown behind all punches, Sasuke, okay, so don't hesitate. You two, Hinata, I need you to be our eyes on our team. No, Kashi here. No, Kakashi Sensei, he's pretty good at um, stealth. He was a player with Black Ops army member, of course. And as Naruto says that, Kakashi jumps down, lands on the ground, and he goes, Ah, oh, Naruto, I'm hearing, I'm hearing some great stories about me from you. <laughs> Naruto goes, Kakashi Sensei, I knew you were there in the tree, does not he? Sasuke and Hinata are like, What? And Kakashi goes, hmm, You didn't inform your team, and he goes, and he goes I didn't need to, I was surrounded the whole time. And Kakashi goes, What do you mean? He goes, I'm fine here. And a Naruto, a Naruto clone um, becomes visible. So what happens is Danzo um, taught Naruto how to go invisible. To, um, taught him how to do the jutsu. So Naruto is able to make go invisible and make um, clones and shit like that. And Kakashi was actually caught off guard having two shadow clones right next to him. And other shadow clones by the trees. And 
Cash Strike. Down to A, down to A, now it's going to have to go to your sprint for down to Cash is shocked here now if they call on there. And what? But Cash goes, huh? Well, so Naruto spoiled the surprise upon the plate on test in the no, but one thing I think he failed to mention is the losers get the loser gets tied up to this pole and misses out on food. And Naruto goes, hmm. Something to keep in mind. And then what happens is Kakashi smiles and goes, Well, as Naruto stated, I want to test your guys' ability as a team to work together and see if you can retrieve at least one or two of these spells, okay? And Kakashi goes, hmm. And he goes, But hearing that you guys are already in a, in, in a way, have associated a form of teamwork? That is great. You guys are heading the right way to becoming a great team. But moreover, see if you can do it. I want to see you guys in combat, okay? So, when you guys are ready, in 3, 2, 1, go! Sasuke and Hinata instantly jumps in the forest. But what they don't know is um, two Naruto clones ran, ran with them. But they were invisible. <clears throat> what happens is when they get into the forest, those, the, two, the, the two clones that are by Hinata and Sasuke, or one of them each by them, they, um, they become visible and they discuss the plan again. And then the real Naruto standing there and pulls a sword out and goes, he goes, really cool Kakashi Sensei. Now, I know you heard me talk about your shower gun, right? Well, you're gonna need it right now if you wanna be able to hope to keep staying alive in the battle with me. And then Kakashi goes, is that right? And he goes, yeah. Unlike any other Jinchuriki Kakashi Sensei, Naruto closes his eyes and opens his eyes. And as he opens his eyes, the mind tells um, eyes appear, the, the red eyes and the slit, which, which shocks Kakashi and he goes, I'm able to access the Nine Tails trucker at will and use it to my disposal. Naruto gets done against prepare yourself for Kakashi Sensei. And what happens is Kakashi is shocked, and as Naruto instantly disappears, increases the speed even more to the body flicker, Kakashi was just able to manage to dodge as Naruto's attack when Naruto did um, the crescent moon slash slash, and it cut across um, Kakashi's joining outfit. <coughs> what happens is Kakashi um, backflips back, jumps up, up in the air, and as he's jumping up in the air and flipping, he's lifting up his left eye uh, um, bandage and lands on the ground. And he gets up, and as he as he gets up, he looks up at Naruto, and he has a shine gun, and he goes, "Okay, then Naruto, since you wanted me to have the shine gun activated, I shall. But know this, I am not going to hold back." Naruto goes, "Awesome! I wasn't planning on you holding back anyway." Naruto also disappears again, and what happens is, as Kakashi standing there, he's able to react to Naruto. Now Kakashi's not as fast as Naruto. Um, I'm not labeling Kakashi, but Naruto trained all his life, okay? Do these duties. So he's very powerful. So as the, as they clash, Kakashi and Naruto clash with each other, Hinata and Sasuke are getting their mission parameters from the clones. So what happens is, um, when they do get their mission parameters, uh, one clone tells Hinata to activate the Byakugan, which she does. She's strange, but she manages to activate the Byakugan. And then that, the other one entices Sasuke, or pretty much helps Sasuke to force the reactivate the Sharon Gun again, to which Sasuke does in, in a manner that's really difficult, but he gets to do so because Naruto teaches him that use the anger that he has for touching to fuel the, um, fuel the tracker he needs to do with the drive he needs to activate the Sharon Gun in a fast manner and control it. And what happens is at first Sasuke cut, but then after a little, uh, uh, um, another minute, Sasuke opens his eyes and he has a Sharon Gun. And then what happens is the, cl the clones smile and goes, you understand what you need to do. They poof away, both the clones, and what happens is Sasuke runs out straight away. As, as Naruto and, and Kakashi are, are battling, clashing with their swords, Naruto's speed versus Kakashi's reaction time is incredible. Like, Kakashi's impressed that Naruto is so fast that like, he, he doesn't know, like, he's like, what the hell? And he, all he can do is surmise, like, he thought that Naruto's going to be the only one, and then the other, the other two are just hiding away. What, what happened is Sasuke runs out from the other side behind Kakashi, and he doesn't know yet. He's too busy locking on Naruto. And then what happens is when Naruto does um, the ninja art, um, Crescent Slash again, one, one of those Crescent Slashes, Kakashi um, gets hit by the Crescent Slash, and as the blade hits Kakashi, it cuts him right in half. And this shocks um, um, Sasuke and Naruto, and Hinata, but what happens is that, cl that clone turns into a, a block. And Naruto lands on the ground and he goes, Damn it, I knew there was something up with you, Kakashi Sensei. And then what happened to Sasuke goes, Where is he? And he goes, Hmm, Hinata. Hinata runs out, jumps out, out, out and tells them, He is right there. And Naruto goes, In the ground, eh? And he weaves the hand side and goes, Earth style, mobile call jutsu. Slams the ground, which shocks Sasuke and Hinata. Even Kakashi, hearing that Naruto knows this so advanced earth style, like the mobile call. 
lifts the entire ground and then Naruto runs up to it and he puts he puts um, uh, paper bombs on it, jumps back and does a massive earth style bump a wall again and then he slams the earth style wall into the paper bombs and it completely obliterates um, what's it called, the um, mobile core um, ground he lifted up, they had Kakashi on it but luckily Kakashi was able to jump out of it, the entire wall to all scatter and destroy everything behind it and Naruto goes, no Sasuke! Sasuke runs out with a shine gun and Preston Kakashi that Sasuke has the shine gun and not only that, uh, Hinata's already running up to try to hit Kakashi and so what happened is Kakashi's actually fighting um, Sasuke with the, with the shine gun and Hinata with the Byakugan activated doing a gentle fish gentle fish, my bad gentle fish <laughs> yeah so uh, and she's got a Byakugan activated so she's much stronger so they're both giving Kakashi a really good workout Kakashi's using one hand for Sasuke in one hand for Hinata because he's got a shine gun he can protect them much their movements much more better than he did them. if he was able to fight them where, with his hand or like hold a bread in a book and just easily casually dodge them like at the original level like what are they gonna do okay right now so what happens as they're doing that Naruto's infusing some chakra he's infusing the chakra um, a little bit more not from the line tells he's actually using a little bit of his own chakra to um, um, formulate the jutsu and then what happens is Naruto breathes in does a deep um, deep breath and weaves the hand size goes Air style air bullet jutsu shoots a massive barrage of air bullets at, at Kashi. And what happens is Naruto um, made sure that when he shot them, they were in the, in the timings between um, Hinata and Sasuke attacking Kakashi. So every time they attack, they miss. Their bullets will just just make Kakashi have to dodge them more. So he's he's fighting um, two, um, three battlefields, one from a range and two close distance. So he's like, damn it! And what happens is as, as he gets away, he catches Hinata, flips around, chucks it right at Sasuke. And Sasuke gets, uh, hit, catches Hinata where he falls over to the ground and what happens is he jumps behind all the air bullets away from him and he goes, interesting Naruto and Kakashi jumps back and goes, fire style, fire ball jutsu she's a massive fire style, fire ball jutsu Naruto smiles and goes, water style, water bullet jutsu boom, she's a massive water ball, ball jutsu and they both beat each other and cancel each other out and Kakashi's, guy, Kakashi's like, water style, water style and even earth style, incredible this, this, this kid is much more than I expected and then when he looks up, he sees Naruto appear right next to him and goes, Kakashi Sensei slams the sword into Kakashi's um, kunai and pushes them into a tree. And Kakashi's shocked and Naruto that he doesn't realize that Naruto, Naruto maneuvered him to a position where Hinata actually was um, right on cue. And Naruto, um, what's it called, releases his grip. And as Kakashi goes to slice down at Naruto or beat him down, it was just a clone. And he's like, a clone? And Naruto goes, no, Sasuke. Sasuke back to behind Kakashi, grabs his arms, pins his head. Naruto does um, a light barrier from where he was behind the smoke and how the shadow can poof and pretty much bound Kakashi to the tree while Sasuke is holding his head, his, his arms up behind the tree holding him there and then Hinata runs up to Kakashi and does um, this gentle fist and she managed, she managed to get at least 10 hits on Kakashi before, <clears throat> before Kakashi is able to at least for the most part um, move Sasuke off him and kick Hinata in the gut breaking from Naruto's light barrier <clears throat> but that was enough, that was enough for Naruto um, plan because as Kakashi breaks from this, Naruto is already in the air. He weaved um, wind style dancing dragon jutsu, which is the Sutsu Kage's ability to fly. It's the wind style, and he flies around and finally Kakashi and goes, This ends now, Kakashi sensei. And Kakashi's a little bit injured from the, um, the track points being closed, and knowing that having Sasuke overextend his arms, like Kakashi's kind of tired now, and knowing that he's using the Sharon Gun hardcore now to fight them. So he's looking at Naruto, he's like, Ugh. And he goes, Ugh. Naruto can fly and I just like water style, water dragon jutsu, air style, gale palm jutsu, boom. He matches them both together and he, and he calls it, he goes, Naruto style, water dragon slams. Right, hits, goes right into Kakashi. But luckily for Kakashi, he has a kunai because Naruto is holding his, his blade up on, on the side. So when, when the water dragon engulfs Kakashi, he gets hit by the water dragon and smacked onto the ground and he gets fucking, he takes it full on. He had no time to react to jumps. <clears throat> and as Kakashi's on the ground, Naruto's standing over him with his, with his blade on Kakashi's neck. And Naruto's already cut the bells and chucked one to Sasuke and Hinata. And Naruto goes, Cool, Kakashi sensei. I'm glad you didn't hold back on us. And Kakashi's like, He goes, For the most part, Naruto, very good ingenuity. Not only that, even if you guys would have failed to retrieve my bells, you guys already passed by making teamwork, and that was the sole purpose of this, of this mission. Naruto gets up and he goes, I bloody knew it. And he smiles and looks at Naruto and looks at Sasuke and Hinata and they're like, <laughs> And then Kakashi goes, there's just one problem. One of you guys can't eat. And Naruto goes, it's fine, I'm used to not eating. Sasuke and Hinata can eat. And 
and weapons as Nara deals everything and gives them a smile because it's a great teamwork. We actually have a future together as a team. And Kakashi just buzzes out to see Naruto like this, like, like wow, you're one cool dude. And so what happens, they become Team Kakashi and for the next month and a half, they do the those D and C rank missions, those shit ones. Now, as Sasuke is getting really shitty upon this, Naruto explains that these, these dumb missions are necessary, not only for us to build our wallet, but to build our reputation to Sasuke. So while we're doing this, Sasuke, me, you and Hinata can train non-stop. And Sasuke goes, what do you mean? He goes, I want to introduce you to someone, okay Sasuke? She's the one that helped made me get stronger and faster and she helped me a lot. She's like a big sister to me. And Sasuke goes, oh, who's that? And he goes, and then what happens is, as they head off, um, um, Naruto is walking towards the medical uh, medical unit. And what happens is, uh, Karen can sense, when I sense Naruto. And when she sees Naruto, she rushes out and she goes, Ah, Naruto! Nice to see you. Nice to see you, little bro. And it's happy because um, they catch up and they have a good catch up. And then when um, Karen sees Sasuke, it's not that she falls head over heels because in Canon, Sasuke and Canon saved um, Karen from the fear in Canon. That's how she fell in love with him, but what happens is Naruto goes, Oh, this is this is Karin. She's like a sister figure. She's helped she helped me a lot in my training. And she smiles and goes, Nice to meet you guys. And Sasuke goes, I'm Sasuke and she helped. And she she goes, I'm Hinata Huda. And, and he um she they they smile and she goes, What's up Naruto? And goes, Well, me and Sasuke are gonna be training my training, you know, and Hinata. So if you can, um every so every so often, Karin, come to my um come to the training yards. Um, every day I'm um, in for the next couple of next week so um, we could use your your particular skills and she smiles and goes okay Naruto that's fine by me and she looks at, uh, looks at Sasuke and goes you're pretty cute so this makes Sasuke blush instantly and look away like huh and Naruto smiles and she says what happens she pats Naruto and goes okay then I'll see you guys I'll see you guys tonight day and Naruto goes cool as and Sasuke goes what's your special jutsu and he goes well if we get critically injured and we need to heal or need our chakra boost we just need to bite onto our arm and we um, absorb the chakra and we get stronger and Sasuke goes ooh and so it's Hinata and he goes it's alright it's part of it's part of our clan's jutsu apparently and he goes our clan oh. and he goes oh yeah she's a Uzumaki like I am but her Uzumaki um, chakra nature all that uh, her, her Uzumaki powers are slightly different from mine I have massive chakra like her but she's just different and Sasuke what do you mean she goes she's a sensory type and I know that she's a really knowledgeable shinobi very very strong and very aggressive <laughs> and Sasuke goes oh so yeah so from there they, um, when they meet up in the training ground they train every time they have D-Rank missions so if they finish a D-Rank mission they train all the time um, Karin is there to help them um, heal up from all the injuries from Naruto because Naruto is going to push them Naruto is going to push um, put Sasuke and Hinata through the, um, similar regiments when it comes to their training and because Sasuke um, trusts Naruto upon how strong he is and understands that Naruto got the strong by training this hard yeah, Sasuke is not going to give up, and Hinata wants to get as strong as Naruto, no matter what, or get as strong as her team, so she doesn't want to fall backwards, so she gets fucking strong too, and her Taijutsu her taiju skill becomes great. So what happens is, over the month of training, before they get to the Land of Wave arc, Sasuke has, uh, has successfully learned the ability to activate a Sharingan at will, and Hinata can always act, can easily activate the up gun as well. Not only that, Sasuke and Hinata have both have become efficient at learning Taijutsu, tab tab like for instance, Hinata um, learns um, a little bit of um, wind, wind release from Naruto, uh, just gale farm due to or help, or help it with long range due to at least keeping them away, so uh, she can modify it with a human style. So, and uh, that, uh, he helps Sasuke with uh, a little bit more with fire styles, teaches Sasuke like a small, a small vision to the fire style and the flame due to, and this helps Sasuke a lot. So when it comes to um, the one month end of the training, they're the closest team that Team 7 ever could be in even in canon, like they're way different. Sasuke has respect for Naruto because he's just so powerful and so bland, so cut off from the world. But is, is logically there. And not only that, Hinata is also much more powerful than canon. So when they're in the Hokage's office getting their mission parameters um, presented, um, no, um, before uh, the third Hokage can even make utter a word, Sasuke goes, he goes, hey old man, I'm sick of these dumb little missions. I'm no little kid. I'm an Uchiha and a prodigy at that. I'm done with these underrated missions. And the third Akagi smiles and goes, <laughs> If your father forgot me, like, they think of themselves, your father forgot me, Uchiha will here. will just tell you to shut up. Like, but he goes, It so happens, Sasuke Uchiha. I actually have a mission for you guys. 
it's much more higher than what you normally do and it is transport and protect uh, and, and, and one of uh, my bridge builder named Tazana to the land of waves and Sasuke goes okay and he's like oh okay he walks back and narrates looks at Sasuke and gives him a thumbs up and Sasuke, and Sasuke smiles and Sasuke goes yes I finally get to test my skills and show Naruto how strong I am and uh, the Kakashi is quite happy that his team is looking forward to this. But when Tazuna walks in, he looks at the team and he super underestimates them and thinks that, oh, Sasuke is weak. He's not his uh, stupid girl in Naruto. He looks, he's just underwhelming. But what happens is as Tazuna embraces and looks down at them, Naruto appears behind them without Tazuna even realizing, guys. And puts his hand on Tazuna and goes, Never judge a book by its cover. And he gives the face that Saika and makes him smile. And then uh, what happens is, Tazuna kind of gets chills up his spine seeing the arch just appear out of nowhere and scare the fuck out of him. And so the land of wave arc begins, okay? But this is where I'm going to leave this one off, guys. I hope you liked um, this remake of part and what I did on part two. I know there's not as long as the last one, but fuck that. I don't have enough time for that to do it. I don't do stupid how I want them to so damn. But I that. I hope you liked this um, next part and that the recording was clear and yeah. But uh, I'm going to get to do the third part um, later and then from there will be the third part that has you guys deserve this part to I fucked up. Shitty recording, okay? But yeah. So where we left off, Naruto, Sasuke, and Hinata are uh, uh, with Tazuna and Kashi prepared to leave the heavenly for Tazuna to die for the Weber in the land of Weber. Okay, guys? But yeah. But as usual, please like and subscribe, leave comments down below, and yeah. But this is Dr. Kyo saying peace and thank you.